Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Natalia at Vintage Go for Designs. Today's video is going to be a part two chairs upholstery. Finishing working on the dining table set that I was working on my previous video. If you haven't watched it, please go and watch it. Let me know what you think about that. I have quite a bit of experience upholstering the different type of chairs and I even done upholstering the couch. I was 15 years old and we had that ugly couch that had a fake leather and the leather started to peel off and my dad gave me an idea to redo the couch and I was quite afraid of this big project. At that time I just finished my sewing course. It was actually fun. I guess that's the time when I actually started redoing some things. Let's start working on that and make things look beautiful. Removing the staples using multiplier tool and a screwdriver. When I was removing the staples, I find out these chairs were reupholstered before. I just decided to keep the red covers as they were nailed onto the seats. Before going to the fabric store, I always like to check what I actually have and avoid buying extra because a lot of times what happens you have pile of fabric and you not doing anything is it i found the fabric that i already have that i was actually using for making a headboard and i had some leftovers this fabric is matching the tabletop that we already refinished i folded the fabric into three parts as i only have enough to cut four covers we are using one of the old covers that we removed from the chairs as a template for cutting a new fabric. The fabric itself is pretty plain, so I wanted to add some charm. As I promised before, I'm doing something very special to the seats. I had an idea in my mind, found the image that I want to transfer on the seats, and I think it's going to be look just fabulous. Here is the picture I found on the internet. We're going to click on edit to reverse the image so it prints backwards on the paper. I'm using iron-on fabric transfer paper, making sure I print on coated side of the sheet. Then we're going to click on print and choose all the right settings and size. I've chose portrait orientation and paper size 827 by 1169 inches. And hit print. I got to print four of these using pressing cloths for ironing the images onto the fabric. Folding the fabric on half from each side to find the center.
same thing we do with each sheet of paper that we printed. This way it's easier to center transfer paper with the fabric. Using a pair of scissors to trim off the excess paper around the edges of the image. We are watering the fabric with sprayer, making sure our image got centered, spraying this image with water, placing the press cloth over top of the transfer paper. I found it's quite finicky to work with this transfer paper as you need to get it soaked in the water in order for your image to be fully transferred onto the fabric. So you better to make sure your iron is sufficient and apply as much pressure as you can. We gotta repeat all these steps three more times. Cutting four pieces of dust cover fabric using an old one as a template. Placing the fabric on the cushion of the seat, making sure that our image is centered. Stapling the upholstery in the center of each of the four sides of the seat. Pulling and stapling the fabric working out towards the corner. Folding the fabric at the corners and stapling in the center of the fold. Grabbing the piece of cover fabric, folding edges on each side so that we have neat finish and secure it with the staple gun. Repeating all these steps with the rest of the cushion seats. Now it's time to reattach the seats to the chair pieces. I'm using fabric to fabric durable matte finish by Martha Stewart to seal the images on the fabric so that you can wash them and your images won't be peeling off. Feel free to check the description box below for all the products and tools I've used for this project. I'm letting them dry for about an hour and they should be good to go. It's so nice to be able just to sit and relax, enjoy and test this dining table set. I'm 100% satisfied the way it turned out. Let me know in the comments below if you ever tried iron on image transfer on the fabric. What type of paper did you use? Or maybe you have a special method that worked best for you. I would love to hear. I really appreciate every one of you who watches my videos, who supporting me in every way. 
thank you guys if you like watching these videos please like share and subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notifications every time i release a new video hope to see you soon bye <music>